This week's task is to make spring rolls. So I've got a variety of vegetables here. I've got a courgette, which I'm gonna slice from top to bottom. So we've got two flat surfaces to deal with. I've also got um, some monge too, and I've also got some pak choy. I've got a bowl of mixed stir fry here as well, which is already done for me. So with the courgette, I'm just going to um, claw, grip, and slice in front of my fingers. Moving my fingers backwards. So I've got some nice thin slices of courgette. Okay, so you can see, like that. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bunch them together and slice down the middle lengthwise so I've now got pieces that thick. Then I'm gonna bunch them all together and slice it so we've now got some matchsticks there. Monge two, I'm just gonna take the ends off on an angle so you can see those bits of green removed like so. And there's the monge two. And then again, in front of your fingers, slice through thinly. So we've now got pieces of monge two like that. I have taken the end off, so it opened up the leaves. Now, pak choy is Chinese cabbage. So I'm gonna take one of the leaves and literally holding it in place, slice through thinly, like so, okay? Right, so let's put that to one side. Fresh chili here. So with chili, I'm gonna take the end off, put that to one side and slice down the middle. And then just slice lengthways. Now, if you don't want it too spicy, take the seeds out. Um, Cause they are a lot quite hot. And then getting, holding it together in a little bunch, just dice into small, even sized pieces. To with the spring rolls, I'm gonna use some ginger. So here you can see, this is ginger root, okay, or, or part of it. Now, I'm just gonna slice off the end, like that, and then I'm gonna take another slice into the ginger. And then with the skin, it's so thin, you can literally just scratch it off with a knife, okay, you see? Scratch it, like that. And then we put that to one side. Don't really want the skin, you can include the skin, but uh, in this occasion, I'm just gonna scratch it off. So there we go, that's scratched off. And then, just like you did with um, uh, chili, so I'm just gonna slice lengthways, and then the other way, and so we've now got some nice, evenly small diced pieces of ginger which will infuse flavour into our spring rolls. Okay. Here I have a chicken which I have poached um, to add into my spring roll recipe. Now I literally just cooked it in stock for about 10 minutes, um, chicken stock I've used. Now so to shred your chicken just use two forks and literally pull the chicken apart like that. Now normally here we would be using a yellow chopping board because that's for cooked meat, but I do not have a yellow chopping board here at home, so this one is gonna have to do. But just make sure that you um, wash it thoroughly before preparing anything else on it, okay, to prevent any illness or cross-contamination. So, anyway, forking it together, tearing it apart. Now, obviously, you don't have to use chicken. Um, normally, these would just be vegetable spring rolls, so you can just um, do that. If it does look slightly pink, okay, do not panic, um, because it is gonna be going in to the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, so it's, it's gonna cook thoroughly through. Okay, so nicely shredded chicken. Now we're gonna go and cook in the wok. So here we have uh, the wok, which has got um, garlic, ginger, and some chili in it, and a bit of oil, which is heating up nicely. 
Um, and we just want it to start to sizzle and then I'm going to start to add in the other ingredients. Now, key thing about using a wok is that you must keep everything moving around the pan, okay? If it just sits at the bottom, it will just burn. And obviously when you've got a pile of different ingredients in here, um, they will cook at different times if they're literally on a pile because the pan is shaped like that. So we want to keep it moving around and around the pan. Okay, now can you see sizzling away in there? Yeah, all moving about. So put that down there. All right. They just cook it for you know, 20 seconds or so. You can smell the um, ginger and um, garlic being released into the oil. Right, so now I'm going to add in some other ingredients. I'm going to pop in the courgette, give that a, a mix round. Orange too, and the pak choy. So now we've got everything in there on this board. Now I'm going to add in my uh, cheats filling of a ready package stir fry mix, which has got a combination of sliced carrots. I've got some cabbage in here, um, bean sprouts. Can we see uh, bean sprout? There, obviously, there's a sliced carrot. Um, we've got a couple of different types of cabbage leaf in there as well. Um, saves a lot of time with preparing, but. Uh, We've done some nice skills with the courgette, so uh, we'll be let off on that one. Right, so again, keep it moving around the pan. So that it can cook evenly. And I'm going to add some of the chicken to this as well. is about using um, a sweet and sour sauce um, in as a mix in with um, the spring rolls. Um, up to you what you want to use. So I'm going to add in some sauce to mine. Now I've got a bit of black bean sauce. And I'm also going to add in a bit of sweet chilli. Give it that sticky um, Glazy. Give them nicely. You see, there we go. Making sure everything is getting covered with the sauce. Now we're ready to start making the spring rolls. Right, so now we're going to prepare the phyllo pastry. So phyllo pastry comes rolled up in a box, something like that. So what I want is two sheets. Um, so I'm going to take two from the pile and roll all the rest up and put them over here. Um, now the thing with the filo pastry is you need to keep everything cool. If it starts to warm up then it will start to crack. Okay, so I've got my two sheets there. Now I'm going to divide this down the middle because these sheets are slightly smaller. Um, Normally we divide it into three, but this one I'm going to divide into two, and then we'll... Right, so, I've got a little ramekin of oil here. So, using my pastry brush, I'm just going to brush some oil onto the bottom sheet of the phyllo. And then stick the top sheet on top, like that. Okay, now. Just gonna brush a little bit of oil along each edge of the top sheet to seal it. And now I'm gonna put in some filling. So grab a bit of our filling out of the wok and put it onto filler pastry okay so spread it out a little bit 
and now we're ready to roll. So, fold the sides in like so, and then grab the bottom piece and roll over, keeping those side bits tucked in, and we fold down there. So now we've got that first bit tucked over, um, you brush some oil down the side here, again, like I say, to seal it, and then we're just gonna roll. Just roll really gently to the end, to the end, like that. And now can you see, you have your spring roll. So I'm gonna pop that onto a baking tray, and we'll do the other one. These have now been glazed with oil and I'm now going to pop them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes till they go nice and golden at 200. So these are my spring rolls. I've just got out of the oven using oven gloves so you don't burn your hands. Okay, as you see, nice, crispy and golden, which is what you're looking for. Okay, 